Yes, please. Yeah, go ahead. Um, could we go back to the concept of Hidalgo and love? Yes. Really about the ecumenical nature of the community. Um, could we say that this is a sort of beginning of racism? Yes, it is. I mean, some, many scholars have, have said that. I mean, some scholars have said that uh, this whole idea of blood purity, which was designed to screen out the Muslim or Hispanics of Muslim or Jewish ancestry, suddenly smacks of racism. Because what you're now doing is you're conflating territorial identity, religious identity, and biological identity. That you are Spanish because of the land, you are Spanish because of your religion. If you are not Catholic, you cannot be Spanish. But you have groups who still insist that your identity is somehow compromised because you don't accept the religion. That's what you have right now in the Balkans. The Serbs is racism. The Serbs. The Croats and the Serbs and the Bosnians speak the same language. They have the same language. Just like, that's why I tell Indians, people from India and Pakistan, that they have the closest parallel for outsiders from the Balkans to understand the situation in the Balkans, just to reinforce what you say. Because now if you go to India, you have Punjabis who are Hindus, Punjabis who are Muslims, Punjabis who are Sikhs. Isn't that true? They have a common language, Punjabi. Just like in the Bosnia, Serbia, Croat, the same language. But the languages have been colored by the religions. The Bosnians use Arabic once upon a time, which is Turkish version of the Arabic script before Ataturk, to write their history and their culture. The Croats have been influenced by the Roman Catholic Church. They use the Roman alphabet. And the Serbs have been influenced by the Greek Orthodox. They use the Cyrillic. So we speak the same language, but when it is written, we cannot read it. You see what I'm saying? So that is this reality that happened. But that's the root cause of racism, because what happens really is, I will say to you, you are not part of me because your language, you don't speak our language, or you don't write it the way you write it. You have been contaminated by the external group. The enemy. So, yes, please, go ahead. Two things. One, the, uh, you know, the Bogomil theory was actually brought about as a way of denying the fact that the Muslims had been Serbs. S uh, served before. That so is they, right. So they created the Bogomil theory of conversion, which was completely fabricated. And then the other thing, you know, more proof, is that one of the ways that they would identify was circumcision. They would mm -hmm. see if they were circumcised or not. So it, it's a clear indication they couldn't even tell the difference mm -hmm. between uh, the people mm -hmm. by their language or by their, uh, physical, their features. physical features. So they would have to check if they were circumcised to see if they were Muslim or not. Yes. No, I mean, that's racism. That's the, that's the, that's the root cause of racism. It started that way. The whole Hidalgo concept. Right. So, so it, am I right in understanding then that prior to this, it was not this was not the case because the spread of Islam, there was intermarriage and all that sort of stuff. Yes. So this was a, a totally new concept. It's, yeah, it, it, it was linked with, to the Inquisition, because you see, you introduced the whole concept of religious purity, and anyone who does not measure up to the interpretation of dogma was suspect. And of course, the most obvious suspects are those who don't believe in the first place. In this case, the Muslims and the Jews. The Muslims were suspected because they were the colonizers, from their point of view, and imperialists. The Jews, because they don't believe in Christ, and they were collaborators with the Muslims. I mean, this may sound very strange to Americans today, but that's the way it was perceived at that time. You know, history is very funny, but that's what history is about. It's very strange. I mean, you have role reversals. Any other question? Otherwise, you know. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>